Okay, now this is called the sensationalization of a story. Everything that they say in, they sensationalize in something that they don't want you to pay attention to. Don't look over here behind the curtain, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. Look at me over here doing the goofy move and don't look behind that curtain. Uh -huh. Focus on what I'm doing. It's a sleight of hand trick. Cause as soon as they got us to pray with them, they was uh, making the agreement to tie us to the contract of the Bible, uh -huh. using Levi, the tribe of Levi, to enforce it using a system of levies and liens. Now, traditionally, we are a oral traditional people. The law of the land made our verbal contract equally as binding as the written contract. A handshake was all we needed to seal the deal. And in some too. cultures, you exchange blankets. In other cultures, you exchange a spear for a, for a battle axe. And sometimes you would change trade daughters to marry okay. to the prince so y'all can have a family connection. And this is called tying into the vine. Okay. Now you're trying to tie into the bloodline of the main royal family and you using deception to do it. Elijah Muhammad said the last trick of the devil was to do what? Yeah. So they go, they gonna try to slide a female up under you at the end to lead you off your path on purpose. Uh -huh. You got different tribes that believe different shit, right? And the chiefs honor the traditional exchange of the other chief. Mm -hmm. So whatever the agreement was, he gave Maisha as, as the um the wife or concubine to seal that deal. It's a it's a pedophile blood right ritual he got tricked into that's right in the Talmud and it's a Babylonian money magic ritual. Now they using the pet they using pedophilia against a man who wasn't a pedophile in order to deceive him into following the order of sin by default out of ignorance. Remember, mm. ignorance is no excuse to the law. So now Muhammad then upset the balance without even knowing what he did because he was deceived by somebody that he looked at as an equal in Abu Bakr. Abu Bakr's intent was to always overthrow Muhammad. How do we know that was his intent? What was the first thing he did when Muhammad died? 24 yeah. hours later, he went to seize power. So it all ties back into how they was doing us over here, using all of those events as the template to overlay us and play it out on us without us knowing it. Now, watch how the story play out. They want us to claim that we the tribes of Israel, and we was never called nothing related to that before 1492. So they want us to follow them by saying we them. Uh -huh. tribes of Israel. Once we do that, then they're going to say, we are the organic people to the earth right here. They don't even have to say that at their point. They can declare victory by means of deception and military uh, and military negotiations. Because yeah. under the Anunnaki Code of War, all forms of deception is a viable form to the art of war in order to avoid the physical conflict. The deception is the judicial system. The tribe of Judah is the ones who's over the judicial system. And now each one of the tribes of the so-called children of Israel has to also have a family bank. Each one of the families set up a bank and the first bank was set up in the crash zone in the 10 square miles called Washington, D.C. When they came over here, they came over here in the shipwreck, 10 uh -huh. square mile crash site set up the first bank. They mapped out the territory, laid down uh -huh. a family's claim to each one of the portions so that at the close of the age, they can say they us, organic to the land, and that, because we can't be competent in law, to manage our own affairs. So this is how they claim in our shit. 
Now, Please. these banks all feed into the Bank of Switzerland. Okay, now, remember we started off with the question, what, uh, when was the last time Switzerland was at a war? We tracked these Etruscan and Moors all the way over here to set up the banks so that they can seize the land from us, these damn black devils. We had already established that they use pale faces to block institutions. So we overran uh, institutions with friendly pale faces in order to get the secrets out. We track in the money and we trying to find out where these motherfuckers at that's behind all the dirt. Okay, now, I done told you who they was. I done showed you their movements. Now, the only thing now is all of this war, these three world wars and all this shit, from that point on, they would have to be hands off clean. One of the Rothschilds, had to speak out and say that they finance both sides of the wars. So it's not a secret that the whoever it is behind it all is financing all of the war and confusion on earth. They paying for it because it's all organized, right? So now when you look at who's pulling the strings of the politicians over here, the um, Jewish Anti-Defamation League and the um, JDL. They the ones controlling all of our politicians because that's their stage show of the political arena. That's the, that's the story they want the public to follow so that they be, can, be, can remain anonymous. They probably have they probably been arrested now because they got to leave here. Galactically, they got to go. The, the Enlil's children lost the war. They normally honor the galactic rules. Once they lose, they normally follow through and pack up their bags and leave. Remember, they say in the book, separating the wheat from the chafe, but they talking about people. While we was going through the Kanja war, they wanted it concealed and they had what you call upper position or prime position on the game. As the attackers, they set the rules. 